another edition of the Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm your host, Shannon Deskins, along with Jennifer Brown Day. Jennifer, it's summer. It is. School is out. Yep. It's finally here. After that winter we had, I think everybody's super excited to see the sun. <laughs> yeah, the winter and then the rain and then mm -hmm. all the everything that came with it. That being said, and people are busting loose right now because school's out, are you seeing more people want to look at houses? Oh, absolutely. You can already tell that people are out looking more. They're out looking more in, during the day. We're getting a lot more evening showings, and then, of course, weekends are always popular, so we're, we're getting a lot of weekend showings where, where everybody's got off work and it's a little bit easier. But even without you guys showing, if somebody's mm -hmm. out driving, because people like a particular area, mm -hmm. and if they see one of your signs in their yard, call that number and then you guys can go from there? Absolutely, absolutely. We can help them. We, we recommend people drive by and look at listings because location has a lot to do with whether or not you're going to be interested in the end. So definitely if you have an interest and you're out looking, drive by some of the ones that you think may be on your list to look potentially. All right. Well, today we've got some houses definitely worth driving by and taking that look at. Absolutely. The first one, let's start out right here in Pikeville. Now, this one is on Zebulon Heights. Mm -hmm. This is on Zebulon Heights. It's all, actually on the left side of Zebulon Heights, and that's called Boulders East. Okay. Um, and that is directly across from the red light going over to Town Mountain Road. So if you're going up 119 Buckley's Creek. Correct. People know it as Buckley's Creek. When mm -hmm. you get to the top of the hill where you could turn right mm -hmm. to go downtown Mountain and back into Pikeville, you can turn left and it's the houses up on the hill. Correct. Correct. And that is a great location. It is. It's a very convenient location. You are just out of the city limits. So you and a have, lot of people find that attractive. Exactly. You, you don't have that. And then you are literally right over the hill from Pike Central School in Mullins Elementary. So you're very good location to the school systems as well. And then a little bit farther in, and you're at Cassidy Boulevard for all the shopping, the new Pikeville Commons, all of that. So literally, you're within three or four minutes mm -hmm. from all of that. Absolutely. And it's very convenient. And I was surprised when I saw these pictures because mm -hmm. there's a lot of space with this house. There is. A lot of people haven't driven up there and they don't know how much space comes with these properties. The mm -hmm. houses look like they kind of sit right there on the hill. But this house has a very nice outdoor area. You've got an in-ground pool, you've got a large patio, and then you have a fenced yard space that is good sized. So you've got privacy mm -hmm. and a lot of space, and we just talked about summer. This ha we're starting off with the in-ground pool. Exactly, exactly. And this is a great house for celebrating the summer in that pool and having a grill out and whatever else you would want to do in the backyard. And it's large enough for a good-sized family, four bedrooms mm -hmm. and two-and-a-half bathrooms. That's correct. It's a four-bedroom home, and it has a very open concept on the first floor. So you have a formal living room, which actually has, it's kind of a multi-purpose room. You could mm -hmm. use it for different, if you wanted an office, if you wanted a formal dining. It has a couple different ways you could use it. And then the entire back of the house is an open family room with a gas fireplace into a spacious kitchen that has an eat-in area, and it's all open. It's also all open with windows to the backyard that we talked about before. So great for entertaining, mm -hmm. great for families, close to the school system. Definitely want to look at this one on Zebulon Heights. Absolutely. All right, the MLS number on this house, and this number is very important, 105440. And Jennifer, this one's listed under $300,000. Yeah, this one's actually listed at two seventy nine, dollars and this is a brand new listing this week. So this is one that if you have an interest in, definitely give us a call. This one, I'll bet, won't last long. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the realtor. You're supposed to say that. Exactly. Now, the next home we're going to talk about is a little bit farther on 119 uh -huh. uh, in the Hatfield community. Correct. This house is um, one that has been listed for a little bit of time, but it's one that really, really people need to look at. It's in great condition. It's a two-bedroom that actually has space for a third bedroom. Um, it technically doesn't have a closet, so we, we don't count mm -hmm. it, but it has a very functional third bedroom and then one full bath, and he has upgraded the house with new windows, new flooring, it's got a um, new bathroom. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, he's really taken the time and put some love into the house. These are the ones that are hard for people to let go of, but a treasure yeah. for the people that do find them. Exactly, exactly. You know, and I'm seeing that it's got a lot of privacy. Mm -hmm. 
And this is on Brushy Hollow in the Hatfield area, right? Yeah, this is on Brushy Hollow. And if you're familiar with that area, Brushy Hollow isn't that long of a road. Mm -hmm. So this actually sits right at the end. Um, it's one of the last houses in the hollow. So you do have a lot of privacy. It sits on about 0.7 acres. So mm -hmm. you do have yard space. And then he's got multiple carports, storage space. And then you have, again, a lot of yard. So definitely, if, if somebody is a nature lover mm -hmm. and they don't want a lot of neighbors and they kind of want to be a little secluded, this is one to look at. Absolutely, absolutely. And again, this is one that he takes a lot of pride in his house. So if you, if you want that area, this is definitely a house to look at. All right, if you want to look at this one in the Hatfield area in Pike County, 103710. And Jennifer, it's a great price, mm -hmm. $79,000. Yeah, it's listed right under $80,000. And again, it's a great listing, something that really sh people should consider if they want that area. All right. Like I said, 103710 for that listing. Now, this one we're going to talk about has just been reduced. Uh -huh. This one's in down, not downtown Pikeville, but in the city limits of Pikeville. It is. This is right off Cedar Creek Road. We've actually had it on the show before, so mm -hmm. this is a little bit of a repeat, but with the price reduction, we of course wanted to let everybody know what that reduction was because it was a fairly decent size reduction. They reduced it about $15,000. So wow. this is one that people really need to consider. It's off Cedar Creek Road on Honeysuckle Drive. Now. Refresh my mind, going mm -hmm. up Cedar Creek from Pikeville off the boulevard as you go into Cedar Creek, uh -huh. it is on the left. It's on the left. Before the intersection to Cedar Hills, just before that intersection, Correct, right? correct. So mm -hmm. you'll take a left-hand turn. You'll take a left-hand turn, and then as you go up Honeysuckle Drive, this house is going to come up on your right. Of course, our sign is in the yard, so it should be fairly easy to spot. And it's a contemporary-style house. You can mm -hmm. see that in the pictures that are scrolling, but you can also see on the interior pictures, it is a very traditional, comfortable style home on the inside. I love the picture with the fireplace mm -hmm. because it shows the brick, the brick wall. I mean, mm -hmm. that just screams warmth to me exactly. in the wintertime. Exactly. And that brick fireplace is surrounded by built-in shelving. It has a lot of those custom type touches throughout the house. And the, and the great thing about this part of Cedar Creek is you're getting mm -hmm. a, a very popular neighborhood mm -hmm. in Pikeville. But you're, you're off the main road just yeah. a little bit back. There's a cul-de-sac at the end of that. There's a cul-de-sac, and you don't have that through traffic. So that's a major plus for, for the Honeysuckle area. Now, one thing I noticed about this is they've recently put a new roof on. Mm -hmm. Now, that right there says a lot because it's a hassle when you do put a roof on. <laughs> but when you do, and you can say, oh, wow, I don't have to worry about this for 10, 15 years. Exactly. It's a little bit of a safety knowing that. And of course, we always recommend people get inspections to make sure everything's done correctly. Mm -hmm. But assuming that, you know, one of those major items is completed on a house that was built in the 80s is definitely a good thing. Right. But when they did the new roof, they did mm -hmm. new gutters. Mm -hmm. And they have, have upgraded quite a few things in this home. They have. They've done a lot of new light fixtures. They've upgraded some electrical work. They did a uh, very nice size patio in the backyard. And the layout of this house, the entire back of the house is a sunroom. So oh, wow. it's got windows and doors access to the backyard, which is a privacy fenced off backyard. And now you have a nice patio that they've added out there. That's important to a lot of people to know there's a lot of sunlight coming mm -hmm. into a home. Absolutely. And this one has a lot. You actually have, I don't guess they're technically skylights, but windows um, you can see on the front picture that are actually in the foyer that keep the foyer very well lit up as well. It's a very sunlight friendly house. All right, and this one is right off of Main Cedar Creek Road on Honeysuckle Drive. 104 973 is that MLS number. And Jennifer, you mentioned the price being reduced. Mm -hmm. We're down to under three hundred fifty thousand, under three hundred forty-five thousand dollars. Yeah, this was just reduced to three forty-four nine. Okay, definitely want to take a look at that one if you're looking for anything inside the Pikeville city limits. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go to another popular neighborhood okay. in Pikeville. Let's go from Cedar Creek up on top to Chloe Ridge. To Chloe Ridge, this one is one that well, again we have discussed it before on the show. Um, this is a very very nice house. It's that neighborhood is a gated neighborhood. It's an executive neighborhood. This one is priced at five ninety nine and offers four bedrooms, three full baths, and you have a third floor rec room with this house, which is a little added amenity that some of the other ones don't have. And this one, this one has the wow factor. Beautiful big area around this pool. Yes, and it's pretty much patioed the entire way around the pool. It also has a screen and porch area. Uh, right off the pool. So you have 
you know, during fall and spring, which we'll get mm -hmm. into fall sooner or later, but you can also enjoy the outdoors and have a little bit of uh, bug protection, which is always good. Right, and those who don't like weed eating mm -hmm. and yard work are going to love mm -hmm. this back patio area because they took, the owners now took care of that by pretty much putting concrete everywhere. Yes, and it's, again, it's very, if you like um, having you know, your kids' friends over, if you like having your own friends over for outdoor activities, for the pool, that kind of stuff. This is a great property because, like you said, there's not a whole lot of outdoor maintenance, but mm -hmm. it is a gorgeous way to enjoy the outdoors at this house. And pay attention when the picture of the pool comes up on your screen mm -hmm. because that view, it's yeah. one of those that, that you see a lot of out west mm -hmm. and the houses in, in Beverly Hills and things like that. <laughs> they have these it's like endless. Yep. You know, look over and you have got the greatest view of, of the mountains. Which is a positive. This is a great one to look at. $599,000. This one is on East Cloy Ridge. Drive the area. Jennifer says that's one of the things they recommend. Get mm -hmm. out and drive it. When you see that Red, Brown, and Williams sign in the yard, there's a phone number on it. Give her a call. Now, all Absolutely. these today are your listings, correct? These are all my listings, yes. So, let's run over your, your phone number and your email address real fast. Okay. The phone number at the office is 606-437-2333. The email is jbrown at rbnw.com. Okay, now, if you want to come and look at this house, when you give Jennifer a call, tell her you're inquiring about 105078. That's the Chloe Ridge house. All right, let's close the show out a little <laughs> bit different. Let's go... Okay. To Elkhorn City. Yep, That's we're going we back out. <laughs> back out into the county. Let's just go ahead and say it. We're going to go up Elkhorn Creek a couple miles. Yes, we are. And we are actually going to close to where the snack shack is. So if everybody's excited uh -huh. we're at Elkhorn, they're also going to be excited that we're at the snack shack. <laughs> snack shack's a very popular restaurant to eat at. It is. And when you're in some of the county areas, it's a whole lot easier to give some of those places it's as a landmark exactly thing. exactly for directions so this it sits on robinson road which is the road that is actually accessed right behind that okay so for those of you who aren't familiar with this area but you're looking for a well-priced great mm -hmm. home this one maybe you want something for you you get to elkhorn city you make a ride at the only red light in town <laughs> and it's what about two and a half maybe two miles something up there yep on the right, yep. and you'll see Snack Shack, and, and you'll, this eat, is, you'll definitely eat well if you buy yeah. the house. <laughs> and then Robinson Road goes right goes up the hill right behind it, and that's where this house is located. It's about the, I want to say this is the third house on the left off the top of my head, so okay. it's not very far up in there. And this is something that we're going to consider an investment property. Um, this house is in need of some TLC. The sellers okay. are very much aware of that. I'm not saying anything out of the way, um, but it does need some work. Um, but they've priced it to allow for that. So it's priced at 35000 It's a two-bedroom, one-bath. It includes a carport and storage space. And again, wow. this would be a great investment property for anybody that does rentals or wants to fix up houses for mm -hmm. flips or anything like that in the Elkhorn City area. And, and the Elkhorn City area is a great little community. Mm -hmm. Look at how close you are to the breaks. Absolutely. You know, I'm imagining somebody who's really outdoorsy, mm -hmm. likes to spend a lot of time hiking, fishing. Uh, the Russell Fork River is right there. Great fishing adventure opportunities. Absolutely. My mind is going crazy of all the people that would love to spend $35,000 in Elkhorn mm -hmm. City and get a brand new home. Exactly, exactly. And this has that options. Now the other thing with this, and, and I believe we've talked about it before, but this house is being sold as is. There's no guarantees on any of the systems in the house, which is typical verbiage for a foreclosure house in this area. This isn't technically a foreclosure, but it does have the same verbiage attached to it. So if anybody is like me and their mind is kind of going right now, give mm -hmm. you a call, you'll be a show them this house? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And this one's your listing also? This is our listing also out of the Pikeville office. Uh, and real quick, before we get ready to do your real estate minute, mm -hmm. your website has all of your listings on it. It does. A couple clicks. It does. It's uh, www.rbnw.com. And again, yes, it has all of the listings on there. There's also a tab you can click on for area listings, which isn't just our companies, but it actually goes to the entire board's listings in the area. Which you can show anybody's listing in Eastern Kentucky. Absolutely. All right. Lots of information for you today on today's show. We've showed you five great listings. Any of those can be found on their website. Well, Jennifer, we're going to take a break. I'm going to step out and let you do your real estate minute. In today's real estate market, many real estate companies will tell you the market is slow or it is much more difficult to buy or sell a property now 
than it was a few years ago. While this is partially true, today's real estate market is not necessarily more difficult. It is just different. Finding a real estate company, and specifically a real estate agent, who understands today's market is an important first step in buying or selling. For example, did you know more real estate was sold in East Kentucky Association of Realtors in 2014 than ever in the history of this association? And again, in 2014, Red Brown and Williams was the number one real estate services production firm in the region. Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Services staff can assist you in understanding today's real estate market. Every RBNW staff member has extensive training and works daily to keep up with the current market trends, as well as other regulatory requirements, allowing your real estate experience to be as stress-free as possible. Allow Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Services to prove to you why RBNW is the number one real estate services firm in the region. Thank you for joining us for another show.